I tell these bad bitches, accolades, got will sign, no castaway. I'm twice as good, get half the praise. There was sniper up and out. Hey guys, what's up? It's Reckon Fun here. So um this is a little bit different on what I do on my channel. So um basically what I'm gonna do today and uh trying to teach you on how to get open broadcaster software, the recording software that I use to record my my games basically. Um it can be used to record um Minecraft, TF2 um, Gmod, CSGO, basically every type of game that you can find on the computer and uh, it's for free so that's like the biggest thing about it and um, it's compatible with Windows 7, 8 and 10 so all Windows users and OS X and Linux, Linux users you can uh, download this shit too because it's cool and shit um, so basically what you're gonna do is you wanna search OBS, Open Broadcaster Software I'll probably leave a link down below if you want to check it out and uh, download this um, recording software so what you do is when you reach the page you will be introduced by this lovely home page and they give you an option to get OBS Classic uh, or whatever version there is over here but for me it's 0 0.657 um, so what you're gonna do is you wanna click on it obviously and uh, it's gonna start downloading as you can see I tested to download so uh, we'll be right back when this thing finishes downloading okay so now that it's downloaded you wanna click on it and it should pop up you know um, do you wanna allow this program to make changes on your computer say yes um, or we'll open a setup wizard will open up click next um, as you can see I already have OBS running to record this video but what you want to do is basically press next and then follow the instructions download and stuff and yeah I'm gonna show you what uh, what um, it shows in the, the OBS so be right back okay so I'm back um, as you can see um, this thing here this is what it pops out as you can see I'm recording this video with OBS right now so there will be like a thing here for you to preview your video while it's recording and uh, has this cool effect like vroom vroom zoom in shit um, I'm in a call with my friend so don't mind that um, uh, hopefully it doesn't interrupt my tutorial but let's go to settings so what you wanna do is set your language to English you know general things um, you can you know enable cursor over projector don't you don't really have to mess with this unless you want to um, so for me encoding is kind of the thing that fucks me over um, because the first time I got OBS, my Minecraft videos or whatever video like TF2 or CSGO weren't clear. So what I do is, like the max bit rate used to be around 1000 or 2000 plus and my video quality would look like, not. it looks it looked pixelated basically. So what you wanna do is you wanna bump it up but only as much as your computer can handle. I put it at 9000 because my computer can handle it. Uh, it's pr uh, my computer is pretty beast, but um, uh, <coughs> uh <laughs> but uh, I recommend you put it around three thousand. If it if your video kind of looks still pixelated or whatever, you can bump it up to five thousand. But uh, I do not recommend you bump it up to seven thousand plus, as it'll probably make your file pretty huge and um, time con like what's that? I make your file pretty huge and. You know the the quality from seven thousand to or five thousand to nine thousand is kind of the same, but you know I'm just doing it nine thousand for fun. So next is broadcast settings. Um, it will actually show you a live stream. Um, if you just downloaded OBS, but you wanna switch it to file output only, and as you can see, your file path is basically where you're gonna put every video that you record with. So you wanna press click on browse and put it in whatever file you want for me um, I'll go to desktop um, videos RF videos and I'll put it here so yeah so that's where I put my videos but um, so just put it wherever you want to this too you don't really have to um, uh, mess around with it um, then uh, I don't need to if, if you you wanted to change your the things you can just apply changes click on yes um, now next is video um, I have it on NVIDIA GeForce, but um, as you can see here, the base resolution is basically the um, the resolution you want your 
videos to be in. Mine is 1920 by 1080 because my uh, monitor screen is actually that resolution. If you want to find out on your monitor resolution, just right click, click on screen resolution, and as you can see here, your resolution. 19, mine is 1920 by 1080 as you can see you're recommended so basically for every every like recording software whatever I, I'm gonna put it at 1920 by 1080 and this is the FPS I put it at 60 FPS because you know it looks more smoother than 30 but uh, I don't mind I mean like it doesn't matter if 30 to be honest um, especially Minecraft videos because um, 30 looks fine 60 just makes it look smoother um, so next is um, audio devices. Um, for this one, you want to put a default, whatever your, whatever you like, um, get your audio from. Uh, microphone and auxil auxiliary audio device. Yes, of course. A perfect England. Um, <laughs> so what you want to do is you click on it, and you can choose whether to put default or your microphone. Mine is a blue snowball, so I'll click on it. And um, you don't really have to mess with this, you don't want to screw it over or anything. So I'm not gonna do anything. Over here, you can click on use push to talk, and you can set a button for if you want to have push to talk. Um, um, what's that? Abilities? Push, <laughs> push to talk um, tool, I guess, if you don't really want to talk all the time and you know, for, for your recording to mess up or whatever. But um, there's also mute unmute and there's different buttons for start stream start stop stream uh, unless you stream you know that won't really be much uh, of necessity much of much of necessity yes of course I'm great at tutorials guys sorry <laughs> and uh, as you can see here you can change your buttons to put on start recording stop recording so you can just click on it and set any button you want DF whatever you know uh, I'm not gonna do anything with that because I don't really have it. So, next is advanced. Um, advanced is really not something you wanna mess with unless you're uh, like you you know your shit. You know, <laughs> I don't really know what advanced do, so I recommend you not fuck with it. <laughs> so uh, next is quick sync encoder. Nothing. See browser. Oh, oh nice. Browser. I'm um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my friend actually critical so sorry um, so there's a browser microphone noise gate scene switcher this three and this four actually but you know this five you don't really have to take note about but yeah um, so yeah that's how you uh, set up your stuff for the stuffs and after that you actually want to you you already have a scene you would already have a scene hold on let me put on my screen um, so as you can see here, these are all the games that I record with. Um, if you want to record the certain game that you're playing, you know, you just have to tick on it, put a tick on it, so that it captures the game that you're playing. Uh, as you can see, my monitor capture is ticked, but if I uncheck it, uh, as you can see, it's gone. Um, now I click, I ticked on it back, it's, it appeared. So um, when you first download it, you won't have anything there. So what you wanna do is you wanna right click, add. You can choose on window capture which is basically you know your um google chrome or whatever if you want to edit and then there's monitor capture which what i'm doing now uh image slideshow but um probably what you guys want to know is game capture if you guys you know record games and stuff so you click on game capture you can name it whatever you want and uh you can click on first you have to open the game that you want to record and then you click on applications right and then you'll see the game pop up like for example gmod or minecraft you'll see it pop up like minecraft 1.7.10 and then if you if you don't see it though you can refresh and then it'll pop, it pop, uh, pop up hold up let me actually show an example so you can see i'm opening up minecraft and hold up let me just open it real quick okay now you can see that it popped up popped up and um, you can go on your game capture uh, I can't see Minecraft so I'm gonna refresh it and now there you can see Minecraft 1.7.10 so you can click on it you know if your if your screen resolution isn't like 1920 by 1080 or 720p you know um, 1080p then you probably should click on stretch image to screen because that's what I used to do when my monitor was in 1920 by 70, 720 
um, but you know um, you're gonna if you have 1920 by 1080p or 720p you don't have to do it you can just leave it here and you can take on capture mouse cursor if you want it to um, this tree I don't really care about so I'm not gonna <laughs> acknowledge then you click on ok and there uh, as you can see my minecraft can be seen in the recording now if I untick the game capture now it's not there anymore because I can't really capture it so yeah that's all basically pretty simple OBS is um, quite simple to um, operate I'll be happy to um, help out with you uh, with your OBS problems and you know whatever I'll just leave it in the comments and hopefully I'll get on I'll get on them I'll get on it and uh, I'll help you with your troubles so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to leave no you know what don't leave a like leave a subscribe because um, I need friends yes um, so yeah <laughs> yeah that's all basically hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial i hope it helped you because um uh, i was really confused with obs uh, when i first got it but uh now that i understand it i i wanted to help you know people who don't really know how to use obs and stuff like that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day bye